Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Let's get right into it. To start our order to cash process, we create a new business partner via transaction code BP. Select organization, then select the grouping and then we fill some dummy data. Let's say test customer one like that. And then I will just fill over here some information and that's basically it. Now we save the business partner. You can see that the system generated this number over here. We go into the edit mode again and now we assign our customer role to the business partner. So first of all, we select the role FLCU00, which is for the financial data of the customer. Click on this one, then go to the company code. And over here, we insert our company code. In my case, it is 1010. And I need to fill at least a reconciliation account. Let's check this business partner. All is fine, so we can save. Now we go back to the general data and we search for the sales and distribution role. It's called FLCU01, this one over here customer. Here we need to fill the sales and distribution data. So click on this button, then we click on sales areas and over here we select the combination of sales area, distribution channel and division and click on transfer. Let's check for mandatory fields. There are none. However, it's really important here in the partner functions tab that we have here our partner functions for the sold to party and bill to party as well as for the ship to party and the payer included. Okay, we can save. By the way, if you want to find out more about the business partner, I will leave you a whole playlist of mine in the description of this video. Next off, we need to maintain a material master. Therefore, we navigate to transaction code slash N MM01. We select an industry sector, let's just say retail and a material type. I will take the material type foods. So this one over here. Okay, then hit enter. Now we select the different views for the material master. Over here we select basic data one, sales organization data one and also scroll down a bit until you see accounting one. Then click on org levels. We include our plant, sales organization and distribution channel and then we click on the arrow over here. Let's just say that we will sell burgers. The base unit of measure is kilogram and that's sufficient. Now in the sales org data one we need to scroll down a bit until we see the tax information. So over here you can see tax classification, insert and output tax over here because we are selling the product. We will just take zero over here to keep it simple and that's basically it. Now we click enter and the system jumps to the accounting one tab. Now we need to maintain some price information. So our price control over here is the standard price and we include a standard price of let's say 10 like that. Then we click on save. You can see the valuation class is missing. So we need to include a valuation class over here. This is to link our material to the financial accounting. And based on this valuation class, our general ledger account will be determined. By the way, I have another playlist about the account determination. I will also leave it in the description of this video. We will choose 3100 and now save. Okay, the material 2311 was created. Now we need to add some stock to the material. Normally this stock will come either from our supplier or from our production plant. For now I will just artificially create some stock for the material via slash N M I G O transaction code. I will select over here a goods received and over here I will say other since we do not have a purchase order. All we need to do is click on detail data, scroll down a bit and then we include the material we just created. It was burger like that. Click on enter. Now insert a quantity. We will just say 1000. Kilogram was the unit where. Now it's important to take the movement type 561 and we can take a look here at the health functionality of SAP. 561, the movement type 561 without a special stock indicator is the receipt per initial entry of stock balances into the unrestricted use. This is exactly what we want. So this is fine. Now we select our plant, the one we also stored in the material master and the storage location based on the plant is one over here. Okay, now let's close the detailed view. Make sure that here the check mark OK is set and then click on post and you can see the material document was posted. So this means that now we added 1000 kilogram of stock to our material. This is it for the master data. Now we can actually create the sales order. We start our order to cash process by navigating to transaction code slash N VA01 to create a sales order. We will take the document type OR, which is a standard order. Now we insert our sales organization, distribution channel and division. And then 
we hit on enter. First of all, we need to insert a soul to and a ship to party. They could be different parties, but for now we will take the customer business partner that we just created. It was this one over here. We copy this number and insert it to the ship to party. Then we hit on enter. You can see we need to fill a customer reference. Let's just say test. And then we insert a payment term, hit on enter and a delivery plant. Okay, now we go to the item level over here and we insert our material number. This is the material, the burger, the ordered quantity, let's say 100. Let's hit enter. You can now see the system displays an error. Mandatory condition PPR0 is missing. So this is because we did not yet store a new condition record. This is done via transaction code slash OVK11. Over here we select a condition type that was displayed in the error message. So PR00, hit enter. And then you can decide the key combination. This is worth another video. So for now we will say material with release status and we insert our material, hit enter and then define an amount. Let's say five euro per piece and save. Condition was now safe. Okay, now hit enter. And now we should see over here the amount as well. Let's check the shipping tab. Here we can find the shipping parameters. All of this looks fine. We can save. You can see we have some error messages that we need to correct. So one by one, you will just double click on the lines over here. Here we need to insert a plant, then click on this button, next data, the gross weight we need to include, and also the net weight, let's say 10 as well, just for testing purposes, and then the schedule line. Let's correct here the delivery date, let's say. Then we have the goods issue date, and then we have the loading date. So the material availability date will be the 25th. Transportation plan date is also the 25th, and that's it. Document is complete, so now we can actually save. You can see the standard order 8491 was saved. Now, after we created a sales order, it's now time to actually deliver the goods to our customer. Therefore, we navigate to slash n f l 01 n you can see our order is already pre-filled over here. We need to select a shipping point. This is nothing else than the physical location from which we then ship our goods to the customer. And then we click on continue. You can see now that the system displays a warning message saying no schedule lines due for delivery up to the selected date. This warning message will hinder us to create the outbound delivery. So we need to go to transaction code slash and VA02 into our created sales order. And then on the procurement tab, we need to insert a confirmed quantity so that we can actually deliver the goods. Now save and go back to slash NFL01N for our order. And now you can see I can create the outbound delivery. We just need to check the fields over here so that all is inserted correctly. And then we can save. You can see the system now created an outbound delivery. Now we also need to make sure that the goods issue is posted. So actually we go to transaction code slash n fl 2 n This is our outbound delivery. And here we go into the detailed data via continue. So we inserted that 100 pieces were actually picked and save. And now we can click on post goods issue. Now a material document was created for our outbound delivery. This means that now the goods were shipped to our customer. Now our last step is to build a sales order. Therefore we go to transaction code slash n vf01. You can see our outbound delivery document is automatically picked over here. We just need to insert over here a billing type and a billing date. So we will say f1 for an invoice and the billing date will be today. You can see now here the screen appears. This is good. We can click on save and our billing document was created successfully. Now we can actually release this billing document to our financial accounting. Therefore, we go to transaction code slash n vf02, insert our billing document. You can see it's already picked over here. And then we click here on the flag. It says release to accounting. So click on this one. Okay, let's click on continue. And over here, we can click on accounting overview, double click on accounting, and we can see the accounting entry, which is a debit to the customer, and a credit to the sales rebate account. Then in the end, we are getting paid by our customer. Normally this is done through importing the bank statements. So once we import the bank statement that we receive from our bank, the position will be cleared and our bank account information in the system will be updated automatically. You can also always process an incoming payment manually without the automatic option via transaction code slash nf minus 28. Yeah, this marks the end of the video.
I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.